Marvel Zombies has finally come to the big screen. Kind of. Whoa! Warning, spoilers ahead. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness pushes the master of the mystic arts into some pretty dark places. That's quite something considering he's already gone up against Dormammu in the literal dark dimension, traveled across the universe to die on a faraway planet versus Thanos, and broke open the fabric of reality with devastating consequences in Spider-Man No Way Home. The sorcerer's latest outing in the MCU takes him across the multiverse as he attempts to stop an unhinged Wanda Maximoff as she carves a warpath across universes. Wanda, still grieving the loss of her imagined family from WandaVision, has been corrupted by the terrifying magic of the Darkhold, making her a threat to every universe. In order to stop her, he has to dabble in a little dark magic of his own. In the movie's climax, he dreamwalks into another reality by possessing the body of his multiversal variant, with the twist. This body is a variant of himself who died in the beginning of the film. Yes, he reanimates his own corpse to become Zombie Strange. I don't even want to know! This dead Doctor Strange is the one who helps America Chavez escape the demon in the opening scene, and he ultimately dies after being stabbed by the monster. Thankfully, his body lands on Earth-616, which is why the main Strange can dreamwalk into his corpse from the post-incursion universe. When Zombie Strange heads for Mount Wungador for the final showdown, he's set upon by the souls of the damned, who scream at him for possessing a dead body. This desecrates the natural order of the universe, which is why these hellish spirits have been sent to stop him. The film doesn't explain who sent the souls, if anyone, but they clearly come from a horrifying plane of reality that we haven't seen in live action yet. It's entirely possible they come from some version of hell. So start up those Mephisto theory engines whenever you're ready. As the Scarlet Witch rightfully points out, Strange using the Darkhold to dreamwalk into his variant's corpse is also pretty hypocritical, because he chastises Wanda for using the Darkhold herself. It also shows that the hero isn't afraid to break the rules for the greater good, no matter the wider ramifications. Speaking of consequences, the film's ending confirms that people who dabble in the Darkhold's magic sprout a third eye on their forehead. In the comics, Doctor Strange sprouts a third eye whenever he uses the Eye of Agamotto that hangs around his neck, and it lets him look into the souls of those around him. It'll be interesting to see what powers it grants him on the big screen. It's great to see Sam Raimi return to the superhero genre. He already proved that he can handle big blockbuster action alongside an emotional story back in his early 2000s Tobey Maguire-led Spider-Man trilogy. But the black magic, witches, demons, and zombies of Doctor Strange 2 are appropriate subject matter for the legendary director of the Evil Dead franchise. If you don't recall, that classic horror series follows Ash Williams as he tries to survive hordes of the undead, called Deadites. And some of the scarier moments in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness look like they're cut straight from that series. Zombie Strange completely personifies Raimi's approach to the film as a whole. He's creepy and gross with an exposed jaw under his rotting flesh, but he's got a heroic purpose. The Marvel film really pushes the PG-13 rating harder than any of the previous films in the series with its jump scares and grisly deaths. And Zombie Strange is an outright celebration of it all. The Magical Corpse also proves that superhero movies can really soar when they lean into specific genres and make weird, off-the-wall decisions. And let's face it, seeing Zombie Strange fight the Scarlet Witch with a cloak made out of damned souls is so, so metal. One thing's for sure. Marvel should definitely convince Raimi to come back for Doctor Strange 3. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.